think family, being with friends and people, enjoying life. Going out and enjoying life, um, walking my dog every morning, <laughs> getting out and being busy, and just enjoying life. That's about values. I think as I've gotten older, I don't worry so much about what other people think. I go out and have fun and enjoy and do things that I normally haven't done in the past in there because life is just too short not to. Probably my children, <laughs> my grandchildren and great grandchildren. Well, I think time is more precious. I learned that as I got older, when you realize you may not have that many years left in life um, to make the best of it and be everything that you've ever wanted to be and go try to do everything you ever wanted to do. I would say cruising, I love to cruise, so that one of the things that I've checked off of my list. I would say I, I loved all the places that I've been, but I really like Key West and the Cayman Islands. But I enjoyed all of them. None of them you can go wrong with. <laughs> Well, I think some of them could consider you kind of uh, old-fashioned or they don't know the things that, um, <laughs> that you used and had back in, back in the day. So that's changed. I think um, the way children are corrected and stuff today has changed. Um, I think a lot of things in life have changed from my generation to, to this generation in there. Um, and that comes from family to family. It, it, you know, it varies from family to family how you're raised. So, well, for my uh, kids and grandkids, it's probably lack of uh, of technical because <laughs> I'm not technical savvy in there. So they have to help me with with that in there. Um, I think you know, in my case, it would be like we were really you know workers, um, grew up kind of strict. Uh, type thing, um, which is, I guess, a little bit different than, than nowadays, how, you know, children are raised, or maybe how we were corrected, or not corrected, or um, in there, so there's a lot of differences <laughs> in, in there, but I think my kids and grandkids think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I don't think they don't see me as 70. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think you can uh, be anything you want to be at 70, uh, embrace it. Um, in there, you don't have to give in to being that age. Just still go out there and be active and, and exercise or whatever your thing is. Go out there and embrace it, do it, you know, because you can be beautiful even at our age in there and you can be active at our age. You know, I think my kind of thing is if you start acting older, you're going to get older, you know, so I think it's a lot of a mindset. Um, I think it's gotten probably some better, but um, that they embrace women more now than they used to um, in there. I think it could even be more uh, now, you know, for as modeling or or whatever it is um, in there. I think that it could be even more out there. But, but I think it has gotten some better for us recognizing that we still have something to give in there even at our age. I had a big birthday party, um, over 50 something people. Um, 
I got a place and I decorated it all in gold and black. I uh, got a band <laughs> um, in there and had a big, huge, huge cake, uh, all gold. And so my thing was like gold, black, and white in there. And um, had a lot of my friends, some musicians, and um, got some dances. And so I came in just going, <laughs> and embraced it. I feel awesome. I, you know, I'm in good health, which I'm very blessed and thankful for in there. Um, I go out and pretty much do what I want. I stay active. I love to dance. I love to have fun. I love to be with people. And I love encouraging people and being with my friends. Yes, because I've realized just really how short life really is. So I'm trying to do everything on my bucket list um, in there because you never know from one moment to the next how much time you have left. So yes, my priorities have changed. I'm trying to stay as young as I can. <laughs> That I'm very caring, that I'm very giving, that I'm very loving, compassionate in there, and that they can see through me that when you get 70, you still can do anything that you want to do, and you still can be beautiful, you can dress however you want to dress, whether it's sexy or whatever, you don't have to just, you know, give in to what we have presumed that you're supposed to do when you get this age, that you still can look beautiful and you can still be fashionable and do whatever you want to do. To put everything that you have into doing what makes you happy and what you want to do in life and not giving in to what kind of society thinks that you're supposed to do at our age and just embrace it all and um, be active and have fun. <laughs> well, you need that. You know, other people get what they need and so you should feel good about going and getting what you need because you need to regenerate yourself and re-energize yourself in there and so you get rested and feel good about what you're doing in there and whatever makes you feel good you know that's what you should go for you shouldn't feel guilty about it because you're just as important as anyone else. I think the biggest change in my life, I've been through death a lot. I mean, I've lost siblings, I've lost a mother and a father. But when I lost my husband in 2020, that was the hardest thing that I ever went through in my life. And what changed me in that was go and enjoy life, take advantage of everything in there because you don't know when that day may come and you don't have that chance. You know, go out there and be with your friends. Go out there and do things that you didn't do before. Because I'm finding that's what I'm doing. Things that really I didn't have interest in before. Now I want to try them all, you know, because I really realized how short life really is and how much you need to embrace that and, and just enjoy life to the fullest. Well, I felt good about the photo shoot and it knew it was probably, you know, going to be fun and something that I really wanted to do because I, I like fashion and all that stuff. I was a little nervous you know, about the, the hair and the makeup, how that would turn out to the way that I do it or the way I normally look in there. 
But after getting here, she worked great with me, you know, whatever I felt um, in there. And then just doing the photo shoot was a great experience. It was fun and the movement, the moves, you know, and putting a little bit of yourself in there and, and, um, and being yourself too, along with, you know, taking the pictures and the direction of the photographer, but um, she let you put yourself in there too. So that was a lot of, lot of fun in there. I would say go for it. <laughs> go for it. Embrace your beauty and um, in there and just do what you want to do. You know, dress the way you want to dress and just go for it. Well, one, I thought it would be a lot of fun and I love fashion. I would have loved to have been a model. <laughs> So it kind of goes right along in there and it fit my personality and um, I just thought it would make me, not that I don't already feel good about myself, but would give me even that more and also something that I could share with my family and my friends and other people to show them that you can be beautiful at any age.